Hey, Dripify fam. My name is Nate, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to Dripify, the most trusted sales automation tool transforming lead generation for thousands of businesses worldwide. Today, we're diving into the heart of Dripify, building sequences. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a perfect sequence and how flexible you can be with your outreach strategy using Dripify. Let's say you've already started a campaign and chosen your target leads. Now it's time for the fun part, crafting your sequence. Dripify offers a wide range of actions and conditions to help you craft the perfect outreach sequence. You can send connection requests, LinkedIn messages, in-mails, view profiles, endorse skills, follow profiles, like posts, find corporate email addresses using our email finder feature, send emails, and withdraw connection requests. You can also enhance your sequence with additional conditions like if connected, if message was viewed, if email is available, and if leads profile is open, meaning they can accept free in-mails from you. These conditions split the sequence into yes and no branches, allowing you to add actions to each branch. Don't worry if this seems complex. I'll walk you through exactly how it works later in this video. Notice that some actions and conditions are grayed out and cannot be selected. This is because certain actions or conditions need to happen in a specific order within your sequence. For instance, you'll be able to withdraw an invite once you've added the send invite action or use the if message viewed condition after you've included a message action. Okay, let's start our sequence by sending a connection request. When you click the send invite button, you'll have the option to add a note to accompany your connection request. You can leave this field empty if you prefer to send the request without a note, but let's add one to increase our chances of getting accepted. Great. We've written our connection request note and used a few common variables like first name, company, and location. If you're not familiar with how variables work or the best ways to use them, we have another video dedicated to this topic and I highly recommend checking it out. As you can see, after adding the send an invite action, our path splits depending on whether the connection request is accepted or not. Let's focus on the left branch first. After sending a connection request, we can wait, say, five days. And if the connection request hasn't been accepted yet, we can add some additional actions to remind the lead about us. For example, we can view profile, which might prompt the person to notice our connection request. Then wait a few more days. And if still not accepted, we can try liking a post. Wait 10 more days. And still no response? We can try to find their email address. Since you can't access someone's email address on LinkedIn without being connected, Dripify will attempt to find the corporate email of a lead. There's no 100% guarantee that Dripify will find the email, so our path splits again between those who now have an email and those who don't. So if the email address is found, we can send an email and continue our outreach through emails. We click save, let's wait five more days and send another email. Okay, let's close this branch. Now let's get back to the branch on which leads have not yet accepted our connection request and we don't have their email address. Let's simply withdraw our invitation here and close the sequence. Great, we've done a wonderful job on this left branch. Now let's move to the right branch and work with the leads who have accepted our connection request. It's important to note that regardless of where in the left branch the lead accepts our connection request, they'll be forwarded to the right branch and continue their journey here. So after a lead accepts our connection request, we wait a few hours endorse a few of their skills to build some rapport. The next day we can like a post, then wait two more days, 
and send our first message, thanking them for accepting our connection request. Keep it short and sweet. No selling at this stage. Great. Now we wait three more days, view their profile to let them notice us again, and send another message. This time, we'll be more sales-oriented. Then, wait seven more days. And if there's still no response, send another follow-up message. At this point, we can close the sequence. You can continue the sequence for as long as you need. There's no limit to the number of actions you can use. Just keep in mind that a larger sequence can slow down the overall movement of leads because your daily activity quota on LinkedIn will be spread across all actions. I also want to emphasize an important rule to keep in mind while building a sequence. Whenever a lead responds to your connection requests, follow-up messages, or in-mails, their journey in the sequence will be paused to prevent spamming them with unwanted messages. If you want to resume the sequence for specific leads, for instance, if they respond with something like, thank you, or happy to connect, like this lead, and you want to continue the automation, you can do so from the inbox or directly from the lead's profile. The sequence we just built is a quick example of how flexible you can be with Tripify. You've got all the tools you need to build a killer sequence, test different variations to see which works best, and eventually close deals. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button to help this video reach more LinkedIn enthusiasts like you. And stay tuned for more videos from Tripify.